it is time to take our head swap to the final step. I want you to take one of your head swaps and I want you to make it a bogus Instagram post. This is what the finished product is going to look like. So I took my Pete Townsend baby Yoda thing and I put it in a blank Instagram template. Let me show you what I've added. Up at the top, there is a circle. I want us to put some kind of avatar there. And don't think that you have to go make a circular avatar for whoever it is. If you want to web search uh, for like clip art, anything that's round, if you want to put like a baseball or a, a basketball up there, or just anything that fits in a circle, Google search the images and find one that fits your character. Mine is easy. All I did was look up the Jedi logo, which happens to be round. I found a transparent version of that graphic. Uh -huh. I loaded it in. I moved it. I found a font that worked right here. I have a username, so I made a cheesy joke out of the character's name. Gragu Betcha is going to play guitar real good. And then I did space dash space. Then I did the word follow. I highlighted follow. I clicked up on the black. I changed the color to blue to follow the format that we're looking at. Then this little thing where it shows all the likes, that's on my website. Steal it. Put it in there. Size it. And then underneath, I used the same font, which was what? Rounded MT bold, went down to the bottom, used the same font, rounded MT bold for the username again. And then I added a cheesy caption. For the caption, I switched the font to Arial because this is bold. I want the caption to not be bold. I want to see the difference between the two. So what are the two fonts we should be using? Rounded MT bold for the username, yeah? And then for the caption, I went with Arial. Notice I capitalized the first letter. Do you have to capitalize the first letter? Yeah. And also notice, this is a punchy phrase. Friday night at the club. You have this much space. I do not want your sentence to go on to the second line. So come up with something short and punchy, and we gonna make it work. Here's how we do it, step by step. Head to the LMS. You were looking for the post called Templates for Instagram Head Swap. We want to download two files that I've got on the website for you. The first one is this blank Instagram post. Right click on the inside, save image as, let's call it blank IG. We want to save it as a, a PNG, sounds good. Save it to the desktop. Underneath it, we have the likes. Right click on that. It's blurry, but this is the best one I could find. And when we make it small, it'll work. Save image as, how about IG likes? Yeah, capitalize IG and then the L. So do that. So then I've got both saved. What happens next? I go to Photoshop. Open. Where am I going to go? I'm going to my desktop. I want to open blank IG. If I double click, boom, it opens it up. Immediately, control zero. Make it big. File. Open. What do I call it? IG likes? Yeah. So now I have two layers. I needed to export one of my head swaps, which I have done as well. So it's file. Open. And I called it. Yoda Pete. That's right. So now I've got three things going on. I have the blank Instagram. I have the likes and I have my photo. Now remember to move things from one layer to another. In this case, I'm moving the whole picture. So I'm going to click on my arrows. See the arrows? Drag it up. Go to my blank Instagram without letting go. Bring it down, then let it go. Guess what? Yeah, this thing's going to be super huge. So I have to scroll around and find a corner because what I'm going to do, oh, it won't work. Hmm, control T. Now I have my bar. I can shrink it. I can move it. I'm going to make this Baby Yoda picture fit in the gray part of this frame. Let's see how long it takes me to do it. Now, since it's a different proportion, I'm not going to be able to show the whole thing. But I want to give you the basics of it. Yeah, and I want to show his hand like on the guitar like that. So I have to make mine fit however it works. I like this. I like the way it works. Notice that the top of the picture covers up that grayish line. And the bottom 
of my picture covers up that same grayish line. So it looks like the picture is in the frame. Sweet. What else can we do? One thing I notice as we keep working with this assignment, if you look down on the bottom right corner, a lot of us, our layers window is disappearing. I'm not sure why that's happening, but I want to show you how to get it back when that happens. If you go up to the top, look for the word window. It's right towards the end next to help. If you click on window and then go to layers, it should window layers, turn it back on, and that will give you what you want. So when it comes time for me to add my avatar up here in the corner, file open, I think I called it Jedi logo. Yeah, double click. I get my layer. Again, you want to go to the magic wand tool, which is the fourth one down. If you click outside, select inverse, the ants are marching around here. If you don't have a transparent graphic, do you have another way to do that? Yeah. Right click on the little arrow, do the quick selection tool and see if it'll let you click inside and slowly but surely pick the whole image going all the way out to the edges. And you want to click all inside your AVI until the only line you see is the one around the edges and then you should be able to move the whole thing up to the blank IG layer, drag it, drop it. This is going to be fun because I really have to shrink it. So look in your layers, make sure you're clicking on the right one, then control T. And I'm going to have to shrink this one savagely to make it fit in that tiny little circle. Then make it fit. I click on a different layer to make sure things are where they want. Let's see if I can lower it just a little bitty bit. Center it just a little more. What if I make it smaller? Would that make it easier to do that? Yeah, but now I see the edges. So if you have to make your circle avatar a little bit bigger, that is just fine. Last step, let's add the text. Click on the T for text. Come on up here. I'm going to click right there. So rounded MT bold was the name, yeah? Scroll down. All right, it might be Arial rounded MT bold. That might be what we're looking for. So. I'm going to click inside. Ruggle betcha. Yeah, and then space dash space. And then we want the word follow. Now, if I click follow, highlight it. What if I use this up here and then click on a different layer? Yes. So I highlighted my text, and instead of going to this guy, I went to color, I went to the top. Make sure follow is in a bright blue, just to make it pop. So that's all we need at the top, and let's center the text, like in the middle of the avatar, because why not? So if I highlight the entire text, go to the arrows, move it down. Oh, what's my font size? Have we figured that one out yet? 24 point. Let's go with 24 point font. Yeah, that sounds good. Click on the T for text again, and we got to get right on it. Oh, here's something that happens. If you don't click right on it, you can add another layer. Look down in your layers window. Remember, if you don't have that, go to window, go to layers, and click it. If it adds another layer and you don't want a layer, go to the layer that's just added because that's the one that's gray, the active one, right? Hit the delete key up in the top right corner. Will it allow us to edit copy? And then, can we go down to the bottom? We get a new layer, we don't want that. We delete the letters. Then for paste, can we do Control V? Boom, we can. So we wanna delete the follow part, and we want the caption to be uh, Friday Night at the Club, right? And then just we want straight up Ariel. Friday Night at the Club. Excellent. But, oh, it's blue. We want to change it back to black. So highlight that. And then if we go to this box up here, if we just take our circle and go down the bottom, will that work? I'm going to click another layer to deselect my text. And we want solid black at the bottom. Oh, we're still missing the little likes thing. File. Open. Go to my desktop. I called it IG Likes. There it is. Open it up. I have yet another layer. Click on my arrows. 
drag it. I want to go to the blank Instagram because that's where everything is right now, right? Bring it down to the middle. Don't let go until you're in the middle of the layer where you want it to go. Wow, that's big. It is too big. So what do you do to shrink it? Control T and just move it around until you get those arrows. Let's see if we can make the likes thing be just a little bit longer than the text. So in the end, we want to make sure that the left hand border of this little like icon line starts at about the same point that the Gragu Betcha does. We don't want to have the text way out in front. We don't want the text way in back. We want them pretty much even with each other up and down. Yeah, I'm going to screw it up just a little bit. That's all I've got. Put everything the way it should be. Make it all nice and pretty. Cha-cha real smooth. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.